According to software giant Microsoft, the company's CEO Satya Nadella's son Zain passed away at the age of 26. The software maker told its executive staff in an email that Zain had passed away. The message asked executives to hold the family in their thoughts and prayers while giving them space to grieve privately. 26-year-old Zain was born with cerebral pills. Since taking over as the CEO role in 2014, Nadella has focused the company on designing products to better serve users with disability and citing lessons that he gained raising and supporting his son. Ashni Grover, co-founder and managing director of Bharat Pay, has resigned, reported the Mint on Tuesday morning. According to the report, Grover sent a mail to the board of directors on Monday night in which he said that he was stepping down. In the email, he wrote, I hereby resign as the managing director of Bharat Pay, effective immediately. I also resign as the director of board. I will continue as the single largest individual shareholder of the company. The prices of commercial LPG has increased once again on Tuesday. As per the news agency ANI, the prices of the commercial use LPG has increased by 105 rupees in the national capital Delhi. Earlier, the national oil marketing companies had cut down the prices of the commercial use LPG by 91 rupee and 50 paisa on February 1st. With this increase, 19 kilogram commercial cylinder will cost 2012 rupees in Delhi from Tuesday. An Air India flight carrying 182 nationals from Ukraine evacuated by Romania's capital landed in Mumbai this morning, an airline spokesperson said. The flight touched down at the Mumbai airport at 7.40 a.m. after a stop at Kuwait and it is the second Bucharest Mumbai repatriation flight to be operated by the government in the past 72 hours. India is operating evacuation flights from countries bordering Ukraine, Romania, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia after the Ukrainian airspace was shut due to Russian aerial forces. India is reporting a steady decline in the COVID-19 cases in the country. On March 1st, 6,915 fresh cases were reported in the last 24 hours, taking the total number of active cases in the country to 92,472. According to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, 119 people died due to the virus in the last 24 hours, taking the total number of fatalities in the country to 5,13,843. 16,864 people were able to overcome the deadly virus in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, under the nationwide vaccine program, 177.70 crore doses of anti-COVID-19 vaccines have been administered in the country so far. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.